first started working um, biographically uh, because I had started working autobiographically. Um, and the reason that came about was I felt very stuck in my life and what I was doing and unfulfilled and like I was just on the wrong path. Uh, and I was doing, I went to therapy and at the same time something clicked where I realised that what I needed to do was some artwork about the very things that I felt were keeping me back. So, you know, I'd gone to art college years before. I was always practising as an artist, but just wasn't in the world with it. I wasn't showing my work or collaborating with anyone or anything like that. So that's why I felt stuck. And something clicked where I thought, well, what, why, why am I not in the world? Why do I feel so behind the wall? Um, well, there's this reason, that reason, something else reason in my childhood. Um, and I thought, okay, I'm just going to draw about that. And not, again, it wasn't really for any purpose. It wasn't to publish it or anything like that. It was just a case of, I want, I just need to externalise it and, and get it out of myself. Um, and from there, things just start happening. It was like a, a very interesting alchemical process. Um, we had social media at that point, so I stuck a few pictures up on Facebook and got a really massive response from people. And one of the responses I got was friends saying, can you draw my memories? And so I had a, a few people send me kind of like one single paragraph of an anecdote or something funny, that, maybe funny stuff that happened in their childhoods. And then I drew those, and it was doing that that I got this really, really strong feeling. It was kind of physical, it was in my gut, because I felt so, a sense of responsibility for their words. This, like, why does that memory stick with them? Why is this the one that they wanted to share? How is it in how they've written it that indicates the bigger learning that's within that story? That's formulated who they are now, that's become this part of their narrative that they are clear about or that they, it's precious to them in some way or form. And so visualising that felt like a very precious thing to do that I felt very honoured in doing. And there, there and then I just thought, well, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to draw people's stories, I want to connect with groups, people who have something in common and collate different stories together that way and draw other people's, uh, yeah, draw a collection of stories from other people. I didn't know who yet or how or, or what or how I was going to go about it or what these stories would be but that was definitely a, a vision that I had and it's, it's come into fruition now just by following that. Oh. <laughs> um, memory is an important aspect of my work, in my artwork, um, because it's it's an ongoing process. Your how you remember something is to do with how you're feeling today. So it's a way of connecting with yourself in many ways to kind of monitor your own where you are right now by how you feel about something that happened um, and what those memories are, the ones that come up, the ones that surface, are coming up now for a reason because that's the thing that you are processing. Um, so to take that into prisons, it's really important to um, just go with whatever the, the memories of the, the prisoner is coming up with. Uh, and to facilitate an exploration of that um, because it will always be to do with the now.